Hurricane Idalia is beginning its process of rapid intensification uh, early Tuesday morning and is set to make landfall along Florida's Big Bend as a major hurricane category three, maybe even a category four storm. The 10 a.m. Central Time Advisory on uh, August 29th has Idalia at 85 mile per hour winds pressure down to 976 millibars. We've seen about a 10 mile per hour increase in the wind speed uh, from the 4 a.m. Central Time Advisory to the 10 a.m. one and like I mentioned that period of rapid intensification is just kicking off and one of the ways we can tell is by taking a look at infrared satellite. The western side of this hurricane was getting bit into by wind shear which caused it to take some time to strengthen into a hurricane but notice the uh, darker clouds which are colder cloud tops uh, that is meaning this storm is strengthening getting higher up into the atmosphere and a lot of those colder cloud tops are on the western side of the system where we had that weakness where it wasn't quite as a uh strong. Now taking a look at radar about 215 miles off the coast of Naples uh, as of about 11 o'clock central time Tuesday morning and notice you can even see on radar there's a little bit of an eye forming. So uh, again likely undergoing rapid intensification and even more evident you see the bubbling of the clouds on visible satellite. Uh, those are con called convective hot towers and those are indicating that the updrafts around the eye of this storm are getting higher and higher into the atmosphere. A lot of violent, turbulent motion. And eventually, I think before sunset on Tuesday, we are going to be seeing an eye visible on satellite imagery. Now, category three storm winds of 125 miles per hour making landfall early Wednesday morning. The threshold to get to a category four storm is right around 130 miles per hour. So we could potentially be dealing with a category four landfall. But honestly, at that point, it's just semantics three or Four. Still a major wind gust threat, still a threat for tornadoes, for uh, storm surge and some very heavy rain all the way up the Atlantic coast to about the outer banks of the Carolinas. That's when the system is going to start to move away and look at where it is on Sunday. 50 mile per hour tropical storm. This system could potentially reorganize and after this weekend, it's kind of a coin flip as to where the remnants of Idalia or tropical storm Idalia by that point could go. I want to show you making landfall very close to uh, Steinhatchee just north of Cedar Key. You can see timecast with all that heavy rain. Our forecast models really honing in on those downpours. The, uh, of course, strong winds with this system. And like I mentioned, pretty much moving it right up the Atlantic coastline. Very heavy rain near Savannah, near Charleston, up to Columbia, South Carolina, before the system moves offshore Thursday into Friday. Now, as far as rainfall totals go, it's a very large footprint from the outer banks of the Carolinas southwestward down to about the Tampa area. That is where we're going to see a widespread four to six inch rainfall bullseye, but there will be localized spots, especially along Florida's Big Bend of eight to 10 plus inches of rain. Storm surge is also going to be a major concern. Might be a little bit difficult to tell, but around the Tampa Bay area, uh, four to nearly seven feet of storm surge could be expected. And where this system does eventually make landfall, uh, the, the storm surge is going to push pretty far inland, but especially along Florida's Big Bend, there could be anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of storm storm surge. That is the uh, amount or the height of the water above your normal tides. So of course, very dev deadly. Uh, in fact, water is the number one killer from any sort of tropical system, not the wind, not the tornado threat uh, or anything else. It's flooding and storm surge. Notice timecast. This is uh, the European forecast model moves it off the outer banks Thursday into Friday and Sunday. Still a pretty formidable system. Yes, it may just be a tropical storm at this point point, but we just don't know what's going to happen with it. Will it regenerate? Where will it go? Uh, those are questions that only time will tell, but notice uh, timecast this version. This is uh, the European forecast model has it just kind of spinning out there very close to Bermuda. This is going to be one we're talking about for quite some time. For the latest, you can always follow this YouTube page or subscribe to this YouTube page for more.